In today's video, we are going to cover Google+. Plus. So you probably have heard already that they have recently um, launched communities. And this is Google's um, answer to Facebook and LinkedIn groups. So let's look at the left-hand side and you will see this green icon here that says communities. So click on that. And these are the communities I have that I am a member of. And you can um, do a search for specific communities that you are interested in joining. So there's lots of people that you can meet on these niche um, communities here. So this tutorial will be about um, the steps to creating your community, which is very easy. And the next will be Four things, four things that you can do to get the most out of your community. So let's start by clicking on create a community and you will need to choose whether you want this to be public or private and you have to keep this in mind that there is no going back. So once you have set your community to private, you cannot um, change it to public later on and if you decide to make your community public and at a later time you know if you want to make it private you gotta do that so you have to keep that in mind so let's just click on public and let's name this the teach me tuesday hub okay so the next step is to decide whether you want people, uh, whether you want anyone to join or whether you want to uh, moderate um, applications. So let's just select no, anyone can join. And let's create the community. Okay, so the next step is to write a tagline here. Say smart tips and tools for your online biz. And the next step is to upload an image that represents this community. So you can make your own, your custom um, photo for this community. And the next step is to complete your about section. So it's located right here. And you can describe what this community is about what it aims, you know, what you hope to achieve with this community and who you um, want to join your community. So you can be sure that you are targeting um, your target audience. And the next step, which is optional for me, is to enter the location. So the next step is to add your discussion categories. So you will see here that there um, there's a category labeled discussion and I will tell you about four specific discussion categories that you can add to make the most out of this. The first category discussion category that you can add would be links to social media profiles. Now this is uh, self-explanatory, right? So you can create this specific category where people can share links to their Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, or YouTube profiles. So you can follow each other on your social networks. And you can even create specific category for each social network. And the second discussion category that you can add would be JV partnerships. So if you are, or joint venture partnerships, if you are interested in collaborating with members of your community, you can um, create a JV partnerships discussion category and collaborate with people. Since if you are targeting, you know, potential clients or joint venture partnerships, joint venture partners, and the next, discussion category that you can add would be guest post submissions and I think this is a really smart uh, strategy for incorporating into 
um, your Google Plus strategy. Um, you can tell people that you are open to receiving guest post submissions and you can also ask people if they are your members if they are willing to accept guest posts so you can trade guest posts fourth and the fourth activity that you can do here let's just click on done editing so the fourth activity that you can do here is to start hangouts with your members so you can just click on start a new hangout and you can get to know more um, you know you can get to know your members more by doing hangouts or you can even click on the events tab here and create an event and invite members of your community so this is a great relationship building um, tool and after you have finished um, adding your description uh, your discussion categories you can start inviting people to join your community so click on invite people and you can add a status update here and just like a little teaser about what this community is about and then you can start adding names circles or email addresses if you found this tutorial helpful, please share them with your friends. And I will see you next week for another Teach Me Tuesday episode.